All right, we're making new mail templates today so that you can get your next big deal. We're gonna go into the mail tab. We're gonna go into postcards, click new postcard. And as you see, we have a ton of options here. So you do have the four by six postcard, six by nine, six by 11. You have a ballpoint letter, or you can go and get door hangers from ballpoint marketing. So today we're just focused on those basic four by six postcards. They get the job done, but I will say if you want to do a more complex mail campaign, definitely go in here and do different styles of marketing. Really love the ballpoint letters. We're going to go into the new four by six postcard, you're gonna see that we already have some pre-made templates here. So you can go through, see what you like, what vibes you're feeling. Now you can customize this, we will go into that. And we're gonna just make it really simple. So all of these we put together so that you could easily just click. So I'm gonna click this one, select the design. It's gonna show you all of the bleed space. It's gonna show you all of the writing. You can change any of this text. So you can do phone number. So it's gonna have your signature phone. If you wanna look at what your signature is, you can go down here to signature. In your signature, that's going to have your return address, phone number, email address. You can also upload a signature image for your face. I will say if you have a picture of you and your dog or a relaxed picture somewhere with your family, people really do respond well for that. That is just a little tip for you guys. Just from the time that I've been here, I've seen a lot of people have success with that because then people feel like they're working with a person, not a corporation or a company. So again, we can go back, we can look at the layers. If I maybe don't want the underline in this cash offers part, I can go ahead and click the three dots and I can say delete layer. So that way I can get rid of that line. Again, going into these is really simple. If I see the bottom right text, I can go in here and change this text here. The big thing that I recommend before you save this is go to the design name and make sure that you put a title that makes sense, especially if you're focused on a certain demographic area so you know what campaign this is specifically for if you're focusing just this on like a certain neighborhood. So if I put this here, I'm gonna say fountain square, mail campaign number one. So I know this would be the first step in my mail campaign if I wanted to make a larger sequence of mail. Then you hit save design, bada bing bada boom, we're done. All right, so on mobile, I'm gonna go to the more postcards. I can see that one that I just made on desktop, but I wanna create a new one. I go to new, four by six postcard. Again, I just pick out what design I would like. I can go ahead and change anything on here. I can view the preview by clicking on view design preview. As I'm going through and editing this, I can go to switch to back, view that, make sure that everything looks good. So then just like my other campaign, say this is my fountain, fountain square campaign, and this is number two save design. So that way I can, again, keep track of all the postcards that I'm creating so I know the sequence that it needs to go out. The big thing here is we need this to be consistent. So the great thing about in the software is you can set it up so that it goes out every X number of days, X number of times. So that way you make sure that it's continually going out and you take that lack of follow-up off the table. You don't have to worry about it because you know that your marketing's going out to those leads. All right, guys, go out there, get that mail marketing going because you do have an influx in credits for that because you're not paying for skip tracing anymore. So go send all that mail marketing, get your leads and close some deals. If you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend checking out this video next to help you on your real estate investing journey. And as always, happy deal finding.